more than 20 years, Gary Razor has spent most of his time on the job working outside, paying little attention to what the sun might be doing to his skin. Originally, no, I, I didn't think about it at all. Uh, did not wear any sunscreen or uh, did not wear a hat or a visor or anything. Eventually, the sun took its toll. Gary's had dozens of tumors removed from his skin. But the problem isn't just because he works outside so much. Scientists now say that part of the problem might just be that Gary is a man. We found that males actually got tumors about two weeks earlier than females that the tumors they did get were larger, there were more of them. Dr. Tatiana Oberishin is a researcher at Ohio State University Medical Center. In the lab, she and her team studied mice with skin almost identical to humans and found that female skin is more likely to get sunburned, but male skin is more likely to develop tumors. For some reason, male skin simply doesn't retain as many antioxidants, which are important in stopping tumors from forming. What that suggests is that when we're treating male and female skin in terms of protection against non-melanoma skin cancers, we actually may need to treat them differently. For example, in the future there might be female sunscreens with more anti-inflammatory ingredients to heal damage from the sun and male versions with more antioxidants to protect against tumors. But until scientists can figure out the difference, they're offering the same advice to everyone. Lather up, cover up, and limit your exposure to the sun. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.